Hey, what's going on everyone? Gumby here. Today I'm bringing another initial impression, review video, whatever you want to call it. Like normal, I'm not going to be giving this game a score. I'm just going to be sharing my overall thoughts, my own general experience of the game, what I think I like about it so far, um, what I see as potential negatives. Uh, I'm not going to state them as negatives because I haven't had nearly enough time with the game. So just some initial thoughts on the new game that just came out by Ubisoft, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, my own history with the franchise, I played Vegas, and I played Vegas 2 way back in the day, uh, but the multiplayer uh, intimidated me when I was a younger gamer. I was really, in terms of first-person shooters, more into Halo 2 in terms of competitive multiplayer. I like the shields, I like the fact that it took a little longer to kill your enemies and to get killed yourself. So games like Rainbow Six and Call of Duty, in terms of multiplayer, pretty much intimidated me at that point and at the skill level that I was at. But now, uh, I play pretty much every game because I just love video games so much. Obviously, it's why I have this channel. So um, I was really excited to actually get back into Rainbow Six in, in a bigger way. Uh, I was a little on the fence with this game uh, because of just some of the things that I had seen in the, tra in the trailers, like hit markers, shooting through walls, stuff like that, but I decided to pick it up anyway. But moving on into what I actually like about the game. Uh, what I really like, and it echoes my own history with the game, is the fact that they have these tutorials and scenarios, is what they're actually called in the game, uh, that there's, I think, 11 of them. I've completed about four or five just getting into it. Uh, that break you pretty much break down all the general me mechanics of what you need to know going into this game's multiplayer. So you have stuff like uh, boarding an air airplane and having to kill terrorists, and so you really get used to you know going into a unique environment in a different way, so that maybe the terrorists don't find you, and you they have disarming bombs and rescuing hostages. Stuff like that. So that actually, and you do it on your own, and you can choose what difficulty you want to train. So it really helps in terms of getting yourself in that Rainbow Six mode, because it's particular. You're not going to run and gun, and you don't have a shield, so you die just as quickly as you would in like a Call of Duty game. But you also uh, have to be a little more careful, because it's not a respawn. It's more like Counter-Strike Global Offensive, or just Counter-Strike in general, where when you die, you die, and that's it. Um different game modes that I've played so far. So you have the matchmaking where you're playing with a team of players on yourself against another team of enemy players. I've done bomb and hostage rescue. So you have one to two bombs, you need to disarm them. And then also hostage rescue, obviously. You have defenders, terrorists that are uh, have a hostage and you as attackers need to um, rescue that hostage. Uh, one thing that's also really good about this game, especially for me, um, they lock ranked playlists in matchmaking against other players until you're level 20. So you can only do casual until you're level 20 and then that ranked playlist unlocks. I don't know how some people feel about that. I like it because I just don't have a lot of experience in this game yet. I'm not very good at it, as you can probably tell in some of this gameplay. Um, and with the objective game types, it's also pretty much TDM as well, so if you're attacking and you kill all the defenders or vice versa, uh, whoever is left standing wins the round. Uh, I think it's best of five, first to three, that's what I've played so far. Um, like, we've gone three losses straight and we then lost the whole match, or also uh, we got a win and the other team had to get to um, get to two or three to end up winning the match. So it might, it might be first, best of three or best of five, um, but that's essentially what I've got. I, I actually, to be honest, haven't won a match yet in this game, but I'm still really enjoying it, so that's kind of a testament to the game itself. The uh, second game mode is Terrorist Hunt. So they have the same type of games, like Bomb and Hostage Rescue and TDM, but this is, you're on a team of other players and you're fighting against AI. And when you're going to Terrorist Hunt, you can choose you know, regular difficulty, hard, or I think realistic is the other one, so you know, extra hard, right? Um, and that's actually really fun. It helps you warm up in terms of communicating with other people that are playing the game without actually having that extra level of difficulty of playing against other players themselves. It's just AI at the end of the day. So it's, I like that a lot. Uh, operators. This is really, really cool. So operators are split up into attack operators and defend operators. And you have different organizations, so you have five actually, you have like SAS, FBI SWAT, GIGN, Spetsnaz, and GSG-9. And each of those groups 
have op, op, two operators for attack, two operators for defend, and each operator has their own unique attack or special ability. Like one that I have, she I think she's the FBI, and um, she uh, her she has like a grenade launcher, and it fires a projectile, an explosive projectile, so it goes into a wall and explodes immediately, and it's really cool to actually be attacking and raiding into that and then i have a defending operator that i think his name is rook and his special ability is he has flak jackets for the team so if you're defending you have that extra bonus damage against uh bullet projectiles so that's really cool you uh, get points for doing anything in the game and you take those points and you unlock new operators so the first operators that you unlock are like 500 points and then after you unlock so many or a certain class you, there are then a thousand points and then so on it just goes up from there so you have to keep playing to get the better operators or get more operators and the reason why you want more than one is if so if you're attacking and you only have one operator unlocked for attack and someone takes it uh, you, there's only one operator per round per side if that makes any sense so if someone took that one operator I had unlocked, I would have to go with the generic recruit type, and they don't really have any special abilities. They just have equipment that everyone else gets. Um, some downsides that I see so far, it's not really gameplay mechanics. Um, there's a live section inside the menu, and I was excited to go in there because I thought potentially it could be an entryway of esports in this game, but it's pretty much just... Uh, community news, game news, talking about promoting their season pass and their DLCs and their microtransactions. I was hoping that it was a section that I, in when I'm in the game, I could go in and view pros playing each other and I could spectate and watch and learn more technique to better myself in this game. It's not that way. Maybe it could in the future. That'd be awesome. Um, transactions I don't really care about because I won't spend any money on them, but they're similar to Team Fortress or Dota or CSGO. It's like weapon skins bundles stuff like that and then there's a season pass like always i'm probably not gonna buy it i'm enjoying the game so far but i don't suspect i'll want to get a season pass for this game i would get so if i have to buy a season pass i'd probably do it for something like star wars just because i love star wars so much not because it's a better game but you know better experience in terms of feeling like you're in the movies but anyway um that's pretty much overall what i had to say about this game if i had to really just sum it up really quickly i the, sum up this whole review i really enjoy playing so far i've only had a few days into it like i said so i'm not gonna give it a review or give it a ranking i just don't like doing that but i would say if you're on the fence about it and you like strategic shooters and you want something fun to play with your friends I would buy this game. It's definitely worth it. I was on the fence about it, and now actually getting my hands onto it. It's a lot of fun. Connection issues aren't too bad. I only had one game where it was pretty terrible, but um, I'm really enjoying myself, and there's a lot of entryway for new players and also experienced players. So that's my general overview. I hope this video helped everybody. Hope your day is beer and Skittles, and as always, thanks for tuning in.